Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 9th of 2021, well, it is titled Titan Moon over Saturn. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken by the Cassini spacecraft nearly a decade ago now, back when it was orbiting around Saturn. And it took many images of Saturn and its moons. And here we see Saturn in the background kind of filling the rest of the image. And in fact, only a small portion of Saturn because at this distance in this resolution, we'd only be seeing a tiny portion of the actual atmosphere of Saturn. In front, we see the moon Titan. Now, Titan is well known as one of the larger moons in the solar system. So there are larger and smaller moons, and there are about seven really large moons in the solar system, with our moon being one of them and Titan being another. And Titan is also unique as among all of the moons, it is the only one with a significant atmosphere. So you can see some of that along the edge here where you can see the haziness of the atmosphere there. It's also interesting that Titan's atmosphere atmospheric composition is just about the same as that of Earth. It is almost all nitrogen, just as our atmosphere is. Of course, the big difference is that Titan does not have any oxygen in its atmosphere. So while the composition is close, and the atmospheric pressure is about 50% higher than it is here on Earth, it would still not be something that you could breathe. In addition, the other problem is that Titan is much colder than Earth. So it is so much colder that it would be very much colder than anything we have here on Earth. So even the most bitterly cold day at the coldest point on Earth would be a hot summer day, extremely hot summer day, in fact, beyond what we would ever reach on Titan. In fact, it is so cold that things like water are completely frozen. And we look at images of the surface of Titan when we landed on it, as the Huygens lander did uh, again nearly a decade ago. All we, the rocks that we saw were actually made of water ice. So it was so cold that they are just completely frozen and remain frozen. So we're used to having a cycle of water here where water on Earth can be a solid, a liquid or a gas, depending on the time and the conditions. Uh, that does not happen on Titan. It does not have any liquid water on its surface. However, it is also unique among objects in the solar system, not just moons, as being the only object other than Earth with a known liquid on its surface. That liquid is not water, but actually methane. And we find lakes of methane on Titan. And we believe that Titan has a methane cycle, much as Earth has a water cycle, where methane can rain down and form rivers and lakes much as we get the uh, as much as we get that same here on earth using water so it is one of the things that makes uh, people look at titan as a possibility a place where life could exist why would that be well there is a liquid there on the surface and we believe that some kind of liquid is necessary for life we tend to look at water as being the primary one because water also has some very uh, unique properties but the fact that there is a liquid on the surface it leads us to believe that maybe the possibility that life may have or may be able to someday develop there. The difficulty, of course, would be the extremely cold temperatures, which slow down chemical and biological reactions, making us also wonder then how long it might take for life to form or if it would be possible at all under such conditions. So that was our picture of the day for January the 9th of 2021. It was titled Titan Moon over Saturn. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be star cluster breakout. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.